Today I came out to work on the COSO gauge to set all the settings. I, I actually called uh, COSO, the nice guy up in Quebec, I think it was, Canada, and he helped me out a great deal. Nice folks up there. Um, but I came over here and there was a little puddle of gear oil down here. You could kind of see a shiny spot. Um, so I was a little worried about uh, an aged out counter shaft sprocket seal or gear shaft seal, um, but uh, as oil leaks go on these things, uh, it seems like it's coming from the best place it possibly could, from the uh, neutral switch. Um, I tighten the screws up, I don't think it's going to do anything, I'll probably have to replace the oil seal in there. Pretty sure I'll have one in stock. I'm going to go ahead and start this thing for a couple of reasons. One, because I want to start it again. Uh, two, I'm going to see if I can induce the oil leaking down there. I added a, another gallon of gas or so to dilute the half gallon of premix that I had put in this tank because the oil pump seems to be working. Next up is chain alignment. Uh, I just need to verify that this chain is properly aligned. I had a little problem with that one after I converted to the SV wheel and GS500 hub. Uh, I didn't check it properly and ended up grinding a rear sprocket down. So I'm just going to verify I have good chain alignment on this guy. I think I did check it before, but I'm going to check it again. This is a little sad, so I guess I didn't set the chain or check the chain alignment on this dang thing. Um, this is my tooling to check. Not too fancy, but it does the job. Um, but yeah, I'm way off. I'm going to have to get a half inch offset counter shaft sprocket and get this sprocket carrier machined down. Let's see if my friend can machine it down. He's done several of these for me. That's a half inch bolt I set in there, just for reference, darn it. So we got a little work to do here. <laughs> 